facial recognition software sold by Amazon mistakenly identified 28 members of Congress as people who had been arrested for crimes, the American Civil Liberties Union announced on Thursday. Amazon recognition has been marketed as a tool that provides extremely accurate facial analysis through photos and video. The ACLU tested that assertion by using the software to scan photos of every current member of the House and Senate in a database that the watchdog built from thousands of publicly available arrest photos. The members of Congress who were falsely matched with the mugshot database we used in the test include Republicans and Democrats, men and women, and legislators of all ages, from all across the country. The ACLU stated the test misidentified people of color at a high rate 39% even though they made up only 20% of Congress. One member falsely cited as a crime suspect was Rep. John Lewis, D. Gar, who first came to prominence as a civil rights leader. As part of the test, the ACLU said it used Amazon's default match settings. But a spokeswoman for Amazon Web Services said in an emailed statement that the ACLU should have changed those settings and used a higher threshold or percentage that measures how confident recognition is in finding a match. While 80% confidence is an acceptable threshold for photos of hot dogs, chairs, animals, or other social media use cases, it wouldn't be appropriate for identifying individuals with a reasonable level of certainty, she said. For law enforcement, Amazon guides customers to set the threshold at 95% or higher. ACLU of Northern California attorney Jacob Snow responded to that comment in an emailed statement, We know from our test that Amazon makes no effort to ask users what they're using recognition for, he said. Snow doesn't think that changing the threshold changes the danger, face surveillance technology in the hands of government is primed for abuse and raises grave civil rights concerns. Outcry from privacy and civil rights groups has not stopped law enforcement from pursuing the technology. The Orlando, Florida, police force tested recognition's real-time surveillance. The Washington County Sheriff's Office, near Portland, has used it to search faces from photos of suspects taken by deputies. This is partly a result of vendors pushing facial recognition technology because it becomes another avenue of revenue. Jeremy Scott, National Security Counsel at the Electronic Privacy Information Center in Washington, D.C., told NPR. He compared facial recognition software to body cameras worn by law enforcement, which can be used for police accountability or, increasingly, public surveillance. He stressed the need for debate so that the technology doesn't become a poor solution for bad policy. Because of the disproportionate error rate, and because of the real risk of depriving civil liberties posed by facial recognition technology, we need to have a conversation about how and when and under what circumstances this technology should be used by law enforcement, if at all. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more of the coolest things that you never knew existed at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthesmall.com once again that is www.atthesmall.com. Com. If you are seeking the best in facial and clear skin regiments and products for women and men including an opportunity to earn residual income, please visit our partner at www.jdro.myrnf.com, all links are in the description box below. Share this video with your friends and family. Since you're watching, we have a small favor to ask. More people are viewing our videos more than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall, we want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. Our videos and reports takes a lot of time money and hard work to produce. Our investigative reporting uncovers unethical behavior and social injustice that helps to hold governments, companies and individuals to account. Through this we can, together, create meaningful change in the world. We do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective too. For as little as one dollar, you can support us, and it only takes a minute. Thank you. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. We have changed to a new YouTube channel, the link is in the description box below, 
please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.